Hey everybody, this is Mitch from BoardCo and we're going to give you a sneak peek at the new Centurion RI257. This boat we got for just a short period of time to go out and do a couple demos and test drives and testing and it was absolutely amazing. I can say without a doubt that it was the biggest, longest, most powerful surf wave I have ever surfed and that any of the people that experienced it had ever been on. It was absolutely incredible. Going through here on the exterior of the boat, you can see it is huge. I don't know if the perspective really comes through on video, but as you get up a little bit closer, you can see I'm reaching my hand all the way to the very top and I can just barely touch the top of the gunnel. Um, and I'm five foot nine reaching all the way up. It is absolutely huge. It is not just longer, but it's bigger than any boat that we have ever produced in the past, um, as well as it clocks in at a full 25 feet, seven inches. This extra size and depth is really important because it allows the boat to produce a longer surf wave as well as allows the boat to pack even more ballast. The RI257 packs just over 5,500 pounds of ballast. It's the biggest ballast system that has ever been offered on any surf boat and the wave that it produces is just, decide, just the effects of that ballast system. It is truly impressive. Here on the outside, you have the new ram fill ballast um, vent port right there. That's where the ballast overflows when it's completely full. The intake for the ram fill ballast sits down here on the underside of the boat. Um, not really something I can show easily while well, it's here on the trailer, but it allows ballast to be vacuum suctioned in as you're driving. Um, allowing you to fill nearly 3,000 pounds of ballast in just under 45 seconds. And then this boat comes with the World Wake Surf package, the additional plug and play ballast bags, taking the ballast up to over 5,500 pounds. <clears throat> you can see here, it's got the new Maximus Tower and this one has the new custom So Long Bimini Top. Um, it's one that we have done custom here in Salt Lake City, and it is the largest bimini system that is offered on any boat on the market. Um, it covers almost the entire cockpit of the RI257, which is absolutely massive, and I will show you that as we get up onto the inside of the boat. Um, this boat comes standard on a triple axle trailer, um, both because it really needs it because of the size, but also because it really just makes the boat look a lot nicer with how long and big it is. It would look a little odd on a tandem axle trailer, but it's huge, it's big, and the great part about it is that extra depth and size um, really gives it a phenomenal rough water ride. You can cruise through the channel at Lake Powell going 30 miles an hour through the roughest water, no problem at all without missing a beat. Um, and it's, it is just awesome. Um, as well as it provides the driest ride of any tournament boat I have ever seen. It is almost impossible to put water in over the nose. We actually tried multiple times we're out on the water yesterday and we're not able to do so even after trying and turning directly into our surf wave. So it is really impressive. Back here to the back of the boat, you have the quick surf system that has been fully redesigned to go with the hole on the RI257, as well as the new silent stinger plate option. This guy allows you to fully customize the shape of your wake, but also ports the exhaust down and out the bottom of the plate. Um, this allows you to get the exhaust out away from the rider, away from the people inside of the boat, and quiets the boat down considerably. Um, it's really a cool option. It allows the boat to be very, very quiet while you're driving and while you're surfing. Um, <clears throat> going through here into the boat, we'll step up here to the inside. Um, it is a big step up going in. Um, we do a front boarding ladder as an option, which we do quite often, um, or we'll probably do on most of the boats in the RI257. Um, here in the back, you have an optional surfboard locker, actually, sorry, not optional, is a standard surfboard locker, um, that you have the ability to put an optional ballast bag in if you desire, um, which you can use to fill up while the surfboards aren't in here, or you can use it as a locker to fit multiple surfboards. It is deep enough, you can fit multiple boards in there, and it's it really is a cool spot for having some additional storage. And if you don't use it, you can use it for ballast if you want. Um, stepping up here to the inside, you can see the interior is just absolutely huge in this boat. Um, this boat has a capacity of 18 people plus all 5,500 pounds of ballast, just to give you some perspective of how big and how deep this boat actually is. Um, you can fill all that ballast 
plus take 18 people and you are not going to be over capacity. It is really neat. Um, new on this boat is this is the um, HD sliding seat with these built-in leanbacks. Um, the cool part about these leanbacks is that they have you have the ability to move and shift the seating um, to any one of a number of positions throughout the boat. So you can slide it not just slightly behind the back end and use the back end as a footrest, but you can even slide it all the way up to near the driver's seat. This allows you to have people facing backwards while sitting underneath the bimini top on the boat, which is really a pretty neat feature. Also, with these removable lean backs, you have the ability to step through them through the inside. This is something that we didn't really think about when we first saw these lean backs, but after using them, they are much more functional than a typical flip up um, rear facing seat. You can actually step through the center and get back to the, to the back of the boat, especially when you have this rear facing flip up seat locked in. For most boats, you have to climb over and around and it really makes it cumbersome. With that split in the lean backs, you can have two people facing backwards and step right in between the two and easily get up to the front of the boat. It's really a nice feature um, that you'll appreciate even more as you use it. All new for the 257 is the built-in in-floor cooler <clears throat> that you can see here that is a fully removable Grizzly cooler. Um, this boat that I'm showing you here is uh, one of the first prototype boats. The full production model will have a built-in shock assist on this, so it will stay open for you. Um, but as you go through and as you see on this cooler, it is big. It is not a small little guy. It is a big, deep, fully insulated Grizzly cooler that comes standard uh, with every RI-257. It holds a ton of ice. It holds a lot of drinks, snacks, all kinds of things like that and it's going to keep it cold for 24 hours. Um, it's got a built-in system here in the hull, so it's fully insulated in the boat, and then it's got that fully nice insulated cooler um, that is actually a full um, two feet long um, by just over a foot wide. It, it's, it's extra big, and as you can see, it's, it's really deep, if you can see here in the video. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a big, deep cooler. Not the typical five inch deep coolers that you see in a lot of boats. Um, this guy is in addition to the signature built-in cooler that sits in the step up going up to the bow that is still offered in the RI-257. So it comes standard with two coolers and we can do additional soft coolers in areas all throughout the boat. Um, also the RI-257, we have the downfire audio stereo system that has the downward facing tower speakers, your interior speakers that have been upgraded for 2017 to have full uh, eight inch interiors, as well as this boat has some additional eight inch interior speakers sitting up here in the cockpit because of the size. Um, in the RI-257, it's a full 17 speaker system that is a true surround sound audio experience for everybody that's in the boat, whether you're up in the bow, back in the cockpit, surfing 30 feet behind the boat. And yes, the wave on this boat is really actually 30 feet long. Um, we have a full walkthrough video coming here shortly and you will be able to actually see the surf wave. It is unbelievable. Um, the bow of this boat is absolute, is just huge. It's, it's really deep. I'm sitting here with my legs fully extended, not even near the edge of the seat. Um, still have another foot there. We had a couple guys up here yesterday um, one of them was 6'2", the other one was 6'6", sitting here with legs fully extended and still had plenty of room in, this, in the bow. It's really nice. Um, as well as in the RI-257, this boat has the largest storage pockets that we have ever had in a Centurion boat. Um, here underneath the side seats, the storage is absolutely huge. Sorry, dropped my phone for one second. Um, <laughs> This is what happens when you do this entire thing in one take. Um, but the storage space is absolutely huge. You have the new um, removable table that can be dropped here in the seat or on the sliding seat, as well as you can actually mount the table at the very back end of the boat. So you don't have to have people sitting here eating food and ha having lunch at the front. You can have it all at the back and have your snacks and Cheetos and other things not making the boat really messy. Um, built-in uh, seat back right here with a built-in garbage can that sits in there in the boat, um, as well as just a massive storage locker underneath your main observer seat here. Um, the signature side-by-side -side touchscreen dash controls in the RI-257, exact same system when we, that we run in the other RI series that people 
absolutely love. It is extremely simple. You just press surf right or surf left and you get a world-class surf wave on this boat. Um, as you can see, the boat is absolutely huge. It is a ton of fun to ride behind this boat um, and video and pictures and things like that of the surf wave and of guys enjoying it um, will be up shortly. One thing of side note, um, we took a few of our uh, customers out on the boat yesterday, um, guys that have fully loaded Centurion FS44s, which has for a couple of years been considered to be the best surf boat ever built, um, as well as guys that have other boats, have Mastercrafts, have Nautique G-Series. Um, every single person we took out said unequivocally it was the biggest, the longest, the best surf wave they have ever been on in their lives um, and absolutely loved it. In fact, every uh, single person we took out actually placed an order for one um, to come in for them. So it is an unbelievable boat. Um, come in and ch uh, check it out in our dealership. We will have one available soon, as well as let us know if you have any questions or want any more information on the RI257. Um, this is Mitch from Boardco. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you soon.